alarming and the abnormal becoming normal. It's becoming a phenomenon in the Philippines. I think as far as Filipino is concerned in terms of their conservativeness and values, <coughs> the values is devaluing. Talaga we have observed in our clinics the rise in teen pregnancy consultations also. And we are quite concerned because we don't look only at the medical part of it, but the psychosocial issues that come together with the teen pregnancy is quite high. And so we are also addressing these kinds of issues when we see our teen pregnancy. And we have to also look into the issues of the teen fathers. I agree. Um, it is alarming and yes, statistics show this. No? In fact, um, it shows that in the last 10, actually 2000 to 2010, the, the rate has increased by 70%. The Philippines, just in the ASEAN region, we are in the top three countries uh, with this problem. And uh, it, with it, we are the only country in the ASEAN region where this is rising. Para sa akin, yung pag pagiging maagang ina or pagiging maagang ama, hindi naman siya masama totally. Kaya lang siyempre, nandun pa rin yung balik sa'yo. Kung baga, hindi mo na-enjoy yung pagkabata mo, maaga kang magtatrabaho, hindi mo alam kung paano mo bubuhayin yung anak mo. Kasi um, sa akin, nag-work ako at age 17 and a half. So parang mahirap para sa akin na saan ko kukunin yung panggatas ng anak ko araw-araw. Tapos yung tatay naman niya, minsan lang magbigay. So parang nasasyaka ako sa nangyayari na ang hirap maging ina na Ikaw lang yung buong tanging inaasahan mo, wala na ito.